we're going into Ripley's Aquarium because today is what? It's like Knox County and Sierra County. How much county do you get in for five bucks? We get in for five bucks into the aquarium. So, and you can tell that like everyone got the same memo today because that is the line for tickets that we're waiting for. So first ride is wait in line for like an hour and a half to get tickets. <laughs> Second ride, bathroom. our attraction is going to be waiting an hour in line for bathrooms. <laughs> Third ride is, we're tired, going to go home. We're going into the tropical rainforest forest area. Um, it's packed today because of this $5 deal. So we're going to see how much we can actually see. Um, we're going to have to wait in attractions and uh, wait our turn and put on our patient pants. So silliness and fish? Yes. Did you know that there's silliness and fish here? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you could just be fishing around. It sounds fishy to me. Exactly. How does it sound to you? <laughs> I want to see their teeth. I want to see what they have here. What do you want to see? Their teeth. actually go through a tunnel that's going through this so we'll get to see what we're gonna see them all around like all those sharks and stuff like that that we're seeing oh there's some of them 
Look at that, that's so cool. I think they're black tip green sharks. Black, black tip? Black tip reef sharks. Black tip reef sharks. They look so cool. two or three sharks. But guess what, we get to go down lower and we're gonna go through a tunnel and get to go see. You know that, right? Have you been there? Yeah. Yeah? So what do you see in the tunnel? Sharks. Sharks, is that all? Are there eels down there? I don't know. You don't know? Are you having fun? So what, what do you tell these guys? Should they come and have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Is, it, is this like so boring? How much fun is it? How much? A lot. A lot of fun. What do you like so far? Sharks. The sharks? So are there too many people I here? I can tell you a fact about sharks. What's a fact about sharks? Sharks dig loud sounds. They like loud sounds? No, they dig or like loud sounds. If, if any of us make a loud sound more, sharks will go and will come. So should... In the do, ocean. Are you liking that there are a lot of people here? Or is that kind of like too much noise? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome? Okay. So you're doing okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. This really cool for foster adoptive families. Yeah. Dalton said he's doing okay with all the people and all the noise, and he's the kiddo with sensory uh, processing, so he'd be the one to not be having fun right now. He is kind of skittish and quiet. It's, I don't know if he realizes. You know, I think it. one thing that helps is it's at least in this part of the aquarium, it's really dark. Yeah, that so that kind of cuts down on some of the sensory stuff. It's just noisy. But it's kind of like a different noise. It's like a low din. It's not like. So, what do, what do you think about the whole experience so far? Um, it's really cool. Um, probably it's a place that people want to come on less crowded days. This is a crazy day because several counties can get in for five bucks a person, which is cheap. So everybody wants to come that lives around here. It's really, the exhibits are really well done. They've got information next to everything. So you can read as much as you want or learn as much as you want or just look at stuff and keep walking. Um, we're really just at the beginning though, so we'll have to do more as we go along. Okay, so we got to a point where we can either go this way on this walkway or we can go over here. And I don't know if you can see it, there's this bridge right here. And that goes over to this kids playland area. We're not gonna go over to the kids' playland area because we re our youngest kiddo is 11, and here they consider you a kid until you're 12. Um, everyone else is adult, so we're not gonna go over there. We're gonna go enjoy the more older attractions, but it looks like you can have a lot of fun going over there with your kiddos, and you can rest, and you can still kind of see into some of the exhibits, not too, too much, but um, you can probably, while your kids are, well, you're probably watching your kids, but it looks like, like, look, you can see, like, the horseshoe crabs from that area. So, you could probably see some exhibits while you're still playing over here. Ooh, I'm going to show you a little bit over there. There's a big, huge slide. I mean, it looks, it looks like a lot of fun, but we're going to keep walking down here. Whoa, look at this guy, he's got like this big old pump here. It almost looks like he has a super brain. 
Mega He's super brain. He's mega brain fish. Wah, ha, ha, ha. Heading into Shark Lagoon. So we're gonna go see all sorts of fun sharks. Mm. Oop, I remember this freaking out the first time I saw What did? The uh, moving. Oh, yeah, so we're on a moving. What? Wait, can you see where we got on? There's a moving conveyor belt that we get on. We can jump off over to the other side if we wanna stop and look at something. But other than that, we uh, just stay on this moving thing and we look. At what's in here? You want to go through it. Um, this little um, people mover is awesome. It gets you through. You're able to see a lot. It's fun to see the sharks overhead. Uh, not a lot of sensory stuff going on in there, so it should be calm and quiet. We're actually only halfway through right now. Um, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. It's really busy here, but it's since the conveyor belt goes slow, you're able to just go at your own pace here and if you need to pull off and stop, like I said, there's carpeted area over there that you can stop and just watch stuff. Other than that, we just stand here and look at all the fish go. Very therapeutic and yeah, fun. Entryway for the kids' playground area. There's a shoe area. There's a slide where it comes down. Um, those were the up there is the bridges to get to the kid area. I was showing you from up above, and then 
these are the horseshoe crabs that it were I showed you from up above that you can see from here. So a lot of fun. So Margie is instructing me that I need to do what? Go touch the jellies. Jasmine and the I just did it and Grandma just did it. It was so cool. Why is it so cool? It's, they're just like really soft and it was just really fun. Okay. Where are they at? Right over here. Oh, okay. question though. First of all, my hand's sopping wet and there's nothing to dry it off with. Second of all, so what do they do if you touch the wrong side? I have no idea. Because I'm like, what happens if someone gets stung? I just asked, they said it doesn't hurt getting stung. What? Yeah, they, I just asked her, they said it doesn't hurt if you get stung. But if you get stung, doesn't wouldn't that just be touching it then instead of getting stung? Like getting stung means that you're getting hurt. You're yeah. getting stung. Unless you're allergic to the sting, I mean, then you might have a problem, but... I think the moral of the story is let's not find out. I've been stung in the ocean and it hurt. I think the moral of the story is don't find out. Touch the top of the jellyfish, they feel really cool and awesome. Okay, so we just saw these at one of the snack areas here by the kids area on the first floor. So for six bucks, you can get this cool thing. Uh, does it come with the soda and everything? Like what does it come with? So it's like the soda, the snack, and everything. And check this out, you get the bottle of soda, you get this little bowl that clamps down on top of it, and then you can put like sun chips in it, and it's got that straw that comes out of it. And then she was telling us too, there are like, there are grooves underneath, so you can put it on like a 32 ounce cup, and you can like use it later when you're like traveling to work or something like that. And you can snack and drink later too, so it's definitely really cool. Six bucks, that's a good price. Got a picture of the menu. So it looks like it's uh, mostly kind of like hamburgers, pizza, um, pretzels, snacks, different things like that. It looked like they had a family, a four family deal. So like uh, dinner for four was four personal pan pizzas and drinks included with that for $20. That's not bad at all. Uh, it looked like a souvenir cup you got for five bucks if you ordered a combo meal. So uh, I'll ask mom about that and see what she thought about the food here. But um, didn't look like anything particularly special or anything like that other than you're eating here and you don't have to leave and then come back. But I will say that if you can hold off um, when you go outside here, um, Gatlinburg has a ton of places to eat and they're right close and within walking distance. So maybe plan your trip so you can get something else besides burger and fries and pizza.
so we're done. We went through the whole thing. We didn't stop at any one attraction real, real long. I didn't feel like, I felt like, I think too, it was $5 today, so we didn't feel the need that we had to like stop and like really get our money's worth out of anything, maybe? I don't know, but we still got- It's not big, so it doesn't take a long time to go through. How long would you say for someone to go through it? We got here probably what? Like it's just after noon right now. Do you think we got here at 10? No, it was after that. Was it, it was after 10? 11. 11. 11? We spent maybe maybe two hours. So maybe two hours in there. So you could definitely get through it in two hours. There's a ton of stuff. We're right, I, I can't show you right now, but we're right by the main strip in Gatlinburg. So after you're done here, you can just start walking. For parking, it was a dollar. Dollar seventy-five an hour. Um, but then after that, it, oh, a dollar for each hour after the first hour, and then up to six dollars. That was the maximum. So you could park there all day and go see the rest of the stuff on the main drag of Gatlinburg and just walk around and have fun and pay six dollars. That that's of 2018 uh, in February. Yeah. So um, yeah, we just went and we had a blast. Like I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, good places to stop off, a lot of, I thought it was good for sensory kids. I mean, except for the noise and all the people you'd be bumping into. Like it was dark, so you're not gonna have a lot of bright flashing stuff because the fish don't want that either. And there was a lot of like calming music and stuff for the ambiance because, again, they wanted the fish to be calm and... There's a lot of interactive stuff too that they can do. Yeah, so, very cool. Come out and check it. Uh, Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, definitely come take a look at it, check it out. Is there any other, I'm trying to think if there's any other tips that we had for foster adoptive families. Bring, I would suggest eating before you come, bring snacks with you. I had my water bottle. They do have places in there by the bathrooms when you come in to fill up water bottles. Keep everyone hydrated because we already have one guy we forgot. Uh, Dalton's already begging for a water fountain right now and I put caffeine in mine so he can't have mine. So we need to look for a water fountain. Um, I'm trying to think of any other tips. It was just a good fun day. Watch if it. If you, I mean, you can do noise canceling headphones. If right. You have a kiddo that. There were enough people. Like, well, you can still see. Like, it's like that's the line to get in. Still, like, there's a huge line. So I would say. Um, if you have a runner or a kiddo that's not going to stay with you, you might need to look into getting like the toddler um, harnesses or something or just keep a real close eye on kiddos because it's not a huge area inside, but if, they, if someone were to get out of here and start, they could run all over the, the main drag, so definitely keep an eye on kiddos. Yeah, it should be a fun time. I think you can definitely do it if you plan. Look ahead and see what your family can deal with. So, I uh, hope you had fun taking a look at this with us. Uh, we hope we are helping you to nurture and grow your foster or adoptive family.